Hey, hey, Shalom. Um, first and foremost, I'm giving all praises and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. That is to say, the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son. All right, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, um, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Uh, double honors onto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well, uh, who's constantly feeding the flock and enduring, and also. Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to you since, <laughs> again, you sincere brothers, you, you righteously sincere brothers uh, that push this word with truth and faith, all right? My name is Tabo Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I want to speak today about, um, uh, I think I'm going to title it, the video, uh, No Coattails, all right? Now, um, uh, this topic came up, uh, basically... When uh, me and the other brothers that's here in Great Millstone Northwest was doing our uh, weekly live show that we do, um, typically on Wednesday nights, um, and uh, uh, the brother read a scripture in um, in Ezekiel 14 chapter. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna grab Ezekiel the 14 chapter. All right. Um, but uh, while he was reading the scripture. That's that's what popped into my mind. That's something that um that I was thinking about and meditating on was that you can't uh you can't be riding no coattails in this thing, man. Everybody got to you know, everybody got to pave their own way. Everybody got to got to do their own works. All right? You're not going to be able to enter into the kingdom you being a man, you being an Israelite man, you're not going to be able to enter in to uh the kingdom of heaven if you're not conducting um the works of a righteous man of, of a man that is following after y'all about shim y'all shy okay this is ezekiel chapter 14 um verse i'm gonna start at verse 14 it says though these three men noah daniel and job were in it they shall deliver but their own souls by their righteousness saith the most high power all right if I cause norsome beasts to pass through the land and they spoil it so that it be desolate and no man may pass through because of the beasts, uh, though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord power, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters. They only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. Or if I bring the sword upon that land and say, sword, go through the land so that I cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the most high power, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. All right. So what the most high is illustrating is that no matter what your soul, um, the salvation of your soul is going to be up to you with your righteous works, man. Now, Yahweh Shai paid the price, man. He paid the tax for all those who is supposed to be covered, you know. Um, with that, you're supposed to be, uh, uh, proven forth that, uh, that you, you, uh, even recognize that. Okay. Not in the sense of, uh, what Christians do, cause they all believe that Jesus Christ died for them on the cross. So now they're free to, to do as they please. All right. Because, because grace is there, which that's completely not the case, man. That's, that's a big fat lie. All right. Because the scriptures is clearly telling us right here in Ezekiel that even though Job, Daniel, and um, and Noah, all, all of them was righteous in the, in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. But the, the scriptures is telling us that they shall only deliver their own soul. So it's going to be the same thing when the calamity comes. All right. When the times start getting rough around uh, these various places in the, in the world, especially in uh, America, which is commonly referred to in the scriptures as Babylon the Great or the virgin daughter of Babylon. All right. Um, when this place starts getting receiving the judgment from the heavenly father. All right. Only the ones that are righteous with righteous works with righteous faith. They're the only ones that's actually going to be uh, saved and delivered from it. All right. Everybody else is going to have to taste of the punishment. They're going to have to taste of the of the judgment to come. All right. Reading on. It says, um, verse 19, or if I send a pestilence into the land 
and pour out my fury upon it in blood to cut off from it man and beast. Though Noah, Daniel and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord power, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. OK, by their righteousness, man. OK, um, verse 21, for thus saith the Lord power, how much more. When I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the noisome beast and the pestilence to cut off from it, man and beast. All right. Because that's how the most high that's what the most high uses um, uh, as judgment, man, which these various uh, uh, diseases, of course, is, is pestilence. But also you can count um, these uh, um, uh, crazy uh, uh, natural disasters. All right. You can count those in there as well. All right. Because that's how the most high. That's what the most high uses uh, to cast forth his judgment. OK. The sword being that in modern day sword is, is a gun. So uh, Esau's projectiles his um, Esau being a so-called white man, his his weaponry. All right. That's the sword. Famine, meaning, you know, there's no food. <laughs> there's no food out there. OK. Um Noisome beast, of course, is self-explanatory and then pestilence, man. That's what the most high is using. So uh anyway, the point is that though these three men are in it, they shall but deliver their own souls, man. Which means that there's no there's no room uh to do uh any any coattail riding, man. Okay? You gotta be working out your own you uh I gotta grab that. I gotta grab that real quick, man. You gotta work out your uh salvation with fear and trembling, man. What's that? Philippians the second chapter? Let's flip to that real quick. Philippians chapter two, uh, verse 12. It says, wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right. So you got to you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. How is it that this uh, you, there's a man and he's working out his salvation with fear and trembling. And you just think that you're going to uh, you're just going to follow closely behind him. But you're not going to do the work yourself, man. You know, you're going to you're going to listen to every word he says, but you're not actually going to um, uh, um, uh, put forth the, the effort of doing the work that that man's doing, you know, and, and yet you still receive you still expect to receive that same type of uh, of paycheck. That's not going to happen. You know, you got to every man's if you're an Israelite man, you ain't got no excuse for not being out there teaching other Israelites who they are, teaching other Israelites about their history and, and what their future holds, man. All right. You ain't got no excuse for not doing that. You know what it is, is that you're not working out your salvation, man. The, the work that was set before us for us to do is to feed the flock of the nation of Israel. All right. To feed the flock, to 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 fish and uh, for the elect. All right. That's what we was tasked to do a alongside, you know, obviously um, uh, fearing and loving the most high and uh, uh, keeping his commandments and um, to the best of our ability and also uh, um, uh, taking care of the brotherhood as you should. All right. Alongside all that, you're supposed to be fishing for the elect and teaching the, the ones that came up underneath you. All right. Growing and, and sharpening the brother that's next to you, grooming him, all right? Allowing him to groom you as well, man. So that way everybody looks good, man. Everybody's nice, clean, and, and, and well presented, all right? You're supposed to be working out your salvation with fear and trembling. You got you got guys, you got that group, the IUIC. What are the, man, they just are following after their uh, leaders blindly, man. To the point where the leaders is having them do things that are wicked, and they're they're down with it, you know. Hey, that's hey. The Most High is the Most High is gonna cast forth His judgment, and you guys that's playing around with this thing, you guys are gonna be in a bad spot, man. All right. Um, Galatians the sixth chapter tells us that you know whatever you do is what you're gonna receive, man. Let's go to that real quick. This is Galatians chapter uh, six verse seven. All right. It says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. Verse eight. 
for if he soweth to his flesh, I'm sorry, uh, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Okay. So, hey, um, that that point is is there that is according to your works is how uh, you're going to be rewarded, man. All right. It can't you can't be riding the coattails of this other man thinking that you're going to receive uh, the same reward as him. No, he's going to receive his reward and your reward that you receive is going to be the fact that you were slack, man. The fact that you were being slothful. The fact that you was you didn't have enough faith in the heavenly Father to go forth and 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 do as He commanded, you know. Because ultimately that's what it comes down to, man. You guys are scared to go out there to the highways and the byways to teach the people, or you guys that that want to be kind of uh, uh, standoffish towards it, you know. You believe you're an Israelite, but you don't want to uh, tell others. Hey, man, the the fact of that is that you you don't got no faith in the heavenly Father, man. All right, you need to pray to the Heavenly Father in the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, and Kakodash, that the Most High increases your faith, man, because the time is short. All right, that parable of the virgins, we're in that time right now, man. All right, you got a you got majority that don't have no oil and that's playing around rather than than uh, getting prepared, you know, and they want to mock the ones that's being that's getting prepared, man. When really all they're doing is working out their salvation with fear and trembling. They're doing exactly as the scriptures commanded. You know, though these three men were in it, yet shall they save their own souls. You know, they're not going to be able to save their sons and their daughters, man. All right. Your leader, the one that's above you, if you're an Israelite in one of these other groups, man, whoever that dude is that's above you, you know, he in his works isn't enough to save you, man. You got to have your own works, you know. And they got to be, they got to be, you know, they got to be on point with the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai. They can't be according to your own will, man. That's why we just read this. If you uh, sow it to your flesh, then that's what you're going to reap, man. All right. Too lazy to go out there on the streets. You know, it's too cold outside to go out there on the streets as if Jake ain't still out there. Man, hey, Jake's still walking around out there, man. Just because it's cold to you and you inside by the heater with your hot cocoa, that doesn't mean that, that you know, those Israelites don't got business to be out there um, uh, walking about, man. In, the, in those chief places, in the marketplaces where you're supposed to go and find them. Hey, it's, it's all too easy to just follow what the man the scriptures. It gives you step by step instructions on what to do. You know, it's, and it's too easy to follow, man. It's too easy to follow, but there's there's people out there that that just uh it's just they're 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 really lazy, man. Their sincerity is in being um uh slothful. Their sincerity is being um uh worldly minded, carnal, right? Their sincerity is in being um being an American citizen rather than being a Hebrew Israelite, man. You know? Um Let's see. What else do I want to grab? Uh, I think I'm going to grab um, uh, Matthew. I'm gonna, then I'm going to close it out. I'm going to grab uh, the book of Matthew chapter, um, what was it? Chapter 12, I believe. Matthew 12 and um, uh, 36. Matthew chapter 12. Let's go with verse 36. It says, um, 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 this is Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. It says, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words, thou shalt be justified and by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. Okay. So every idle word is going to have to, um, you're going to have to give account. This is just another uh, thing that's backing up. What we just read in Galatians, the sixth chapter, saying that you're going to reap what you're going to sow, man. All right. Because you're going to you're the one that's got to stand before the Lord. And, you know, you're the one that's got to stand before the Lord and look the Lord in the eyes and re and receive judgment, man. OK. And he's going to if he's going to look at you and be like, man, you had every opportunity to 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 go and, and do what was uh was right. Instead, you let the people. Instead of being a good watchman, you let the people um, uh, fall victim to these uh, uh, to these various calamities, you know, and he's going to hold 
their blood uh, upon your head, man. You know? Hey, man, Lord willing, the message was received. You know, I don't want to keep reiterating the same thing. Lord willing, the message was received and Lord willing, uh, this was edifying, man. So until next time, I say Shalom.